and we're here in Turks and Caicos, and we are going to hit a 30 mile 5k or 6,000 steps. So all of those about roughly each equal each other. So you're going to start your heart rate monitor. I'm going to set it on run. You can either calculate the mileage or the steps, and we're right into it. So I want you to hit a nice light jog. You're pumping your arms. We're just warming that body up. So this is a great way to get your cardio or aerobic exercise in without even leaving the house. So say it's really cold outside, you don't feel like running through your neighborhood. This is a great way to do it at home. So if you don't have a gym membership, you don't have access to a treadmill. No excuses. No excuses. We're right here right now. We love running, especially on vacation, to kind of see places and explore on foot. Uh, so we thought, what better way yeah. than to do it with you guys here today? Yeah, great and spot. Enjoy this beautiful beach. So you guys are lucky because you guys get to see the beach, and we are looking at something that does not look like a beach. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah. We're that excited. sounds a little bit. <laughs> excited to be here with you today. So remember, this is Pilates on demand. I want that core locked in nice and tight. That helps support the impact of running for that low back. The shoulders are relaxed. And we've got posture, right? We're not running like this. Yeah, I want you to draw your back muscles together and keep that chest lifted. Relax your face. All tighten up. Try to get some nose breathing going. Good. Pump those arms. Yeah, breath. Work. I really like what you just said about that. What do you think about running? How you should, what should you try to do? I mean, you wise? should. The truth is, if you can get nasal breathing in for as long as possible, and then that strong exhale out, you can get more oxygen to the blood, getting to those muscles, and you have a better chance of going longer, and doing a faster pace. Yeah. So it's good to practice that. It's hard. So it's it's. Just like getting stronger, it's yeah. a different kind of technique you're working on. Sure, and we can talk about maybe a heart rate zone a little bit. Sure. Think. Like, well, what? First, we had people calculate their max heart rate. No. Oh, I was gonna give it to you. <laughs> no. All right, it's, it's 220 minus your age. So give 220 me. minus your age is gonna equal your max heart rate. Theoretical, so you can't go over that but it'll be around that. And then you want to get your target heart rate, which is a basic equation that, go online and just type it in and just follow it. Just plug in the numbers. It's pretty easy. I'll give it to you now, but there's something well, that you want. It's different for everyone because it's based on your age. Yeah, so you can just plug it in. It's really easy. And then uh, right now, I'm sitting at about 130 some in my zone two. I'm at 138. So, so I'm probably a little higher. Which is, we have a good age difference. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, okay, zone two is good because basically you get a chance to use your aerobic pace and build it up. So that's where I like to work. Spend most of my time. What other exercises do you do for zone two? Incline walking with weights for me. Yeah, yesterday we did on the treadmill incline walking holding kettlebells which i've never done before and wow it's hard yeah it was, it's hard but it's they say if you can maintain your breath and talk that's zone two. Oh, okay. so you're not totally out of breath like you can see now we're talking to you guys and we're able to hold this pace anything in three four definitely not five but three and four get much more challenging and almost impossible to hold a conversation right so that's a good kind of barometer. Well, you're really pumping arms. Well, gotta get that heart rate up. She's going for it. So we're on a family vacation with his family for his parents' 50th, 50th wedding anniversary. Yeah, that's right. Not wild. We did it just like a year and a half. Amazing. How are you guys feeling? Feeling good? I think it's, I think we're warm. 
think it's time to commit to the pace a little bit, yeah? Yeah, yeah we're about okay. five minutes in now, so yeah, we are. Feeling, feeling solid. Working on that first mile. Hey, what's your guys' best 5K time? Yeah, and that's the best thing about this workout. Really easy to repeat and try to beat your last time. Yeah, so you're moving quicker or, or do the whole time we're running and see if you can get more mileage. So there's tons of ways to progress it. Yeah. Right? You can also find sand and try to run in that. Yes, the sand is hard. This is not as, this is more challenging than I'm moving sand around and rebuilding my spot. <laughs> Isn't Good. this beach so beautiful? Yeah. This oh. is, I think they rank this as one of the nicest beaches. The color is so turquoise. Yeah, it's amazing. It's hard to explain. And the water is pretty calm. Um, we're going to try paddle boarding this week. I think at some point. I've, I mean, I've done it before, but I'm excited to do it again. Here is going to be fun. So fun. Here will be a. Woo, I'm starting to get so wet -y. It's about. It's actually not too hot. No, it's just. It's like 80, 82 today. We're just a lot more south, so we're getting that. Humidity. That real sun and humidity. Yeah. Here. So we'll have a good sun tan after this, too, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, how are you guys doing today? As if you're getting your workouts in this week. We're super proud of you showing up, getting that cardio in. I know sometimes when I feel in a little bit of a rut, cardio is like the hardest thing for me to want to do right. to really push the engine. But I can also say that it's the best food afterwards. Like it's so amazing that endorphin pump you get. Yeah, you get you can get addicted to it, which I think is the right kind of stuff to get. Really into <laughs> exercise. Yeah. All kind, there's so many forms. Running on the beach, biking. You can just get out and move. Find something find you something like. Find something you like. Right? That's a huge, huge key. If you are miserable doing weights, then go walking. Yeah. If it's walking, try the weights. It's about being yeah. active and active to you enjoy. Yeah. Find a hobby like softball, pickleball. Got a nice day. It's probably 75, 80. Yeah, it's like 80. And humid, but we got a killer breeze, so that's it. That's plenty. Of I know in some parts of the country it's not like this, <laughs> <laughs> which is why you well, got. We also are from Los Angeles, so it's like 70 and sunny is our fall. <laughs> yeah. So we're really used to warm weather. <laughs>
are too fatigued. This is an endurance run. If you're super fatigued and your form gets bad, I want you to reset. I want you to grab water. I want you to take some deep breaths. Or you can do. And then reset. And get a totally great modification if you're not a runner. You can do this whole workout just like that. Or you can do, you know, your brakes marching. Absolutely. Yeah. But like I said, if your form starts to get bad, that is real fatigue. That's when I need you to take a break, get water, and then come back in. If you're just having to mentally push through, we're here for you. We're with mentally pushing through as well. That is how we get better. But mental push. If physically not good right now, reset. If you're mentally struggling, let's go. We got this. Pick it up. Pick it up. Super proud of you. Woo-woo! My We've actually never done a workout like this before. Ever. No. So we're, we're in I like to do, um, during the pandemic with my mom, we did a lot of cycling workouts and we're cycling. We got cycling bikes. And we would watch people bike through the Swiss Alps. And so today I was thinking, oh, oh man, I'd love to run. Why don't we film us running in front of the ocean and people can run with us? I mean, yeah, this is a view I would want to see running if uh, you're kind of locked inside on a dreary day and you don't have a gym membership, or even if you're running at the gym, something that you run towards, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's me. Beach cruise aid. Probably looks killer, like, play this back with like a 70 inch. Yeah. Been on a water slide in like 10 years. <laughs> so I was like, oh, it's pretty fun. I'm like, it's really fun. Love it. Yeah, amazing. I love it. They would probably do this. Yeah, I think we'll have to get them in the next one. Maybe. Yeah, the sand makes it more challenging. For me. Yeah. Circadian, yeah. Okay.
get in a grasshopper that can fly. Oh. oh, I saw a praying mantis the other day in our backyard. They're really pretty. Oh, yeah, they're amazing. Green? Yeah, they're, green? they're amazing. I had no idea what it was at first. I'd never seen one. What? You've never seen one at first? I'd also do not think they would be in Southern California. Uh, no, they seem a lot, actually. Oh, not okay. a lot, but they're out there. They, they can be big. Woo, guys, we're working. You are over a mile. Oh yeah, I'm doing a race in December called High Rocks. High Rocks! Yeah, it's a uh, fitness race out of Germany. I came to the U.S. a few years ago. Do eight kilometer runs in between each kilometer to the strength station. So, I gotta get my running in quite so a we're bit. we're doing it right now, right? Yeah, I'm getting, my, getting steps in for me, building that aerobic base. But yeah, it's a challenging. So it's an interesting competition because it's basically like a workout, like an actual gym workout. So I'd say it's kind of like a Barry's boot camp uh, where you have like the intervals back and forth between running and a strength station, except yeah. your strength stations are like next level. Like you've got the speared, yeah. a sled push, yeah. like kind of like football players do. Nice. Sled pull, do they do football players do sled pull? Yeah. Uh, The rower. Oh, the rower. I love the rower. They do, uh, you gotta do burpee broad jumps. Oh, burpee broad jumps. Those are. You have to move and do burpees and like jump squats forward. Yeah. Oh, brutal. Then, yeah, and then we got uh, a yeah, sandbag lunge carry on the back. It's fun. Yeah, it's a good race. Brutal. Yeah, they do these sandbags over their shoulders. And then they have to do walking lunges. And then after they finish that, they go into the run. Yeah. So it's just wild. It's like some serious athleticism. And it's super fun to watch. So they're usually inside the convention center. Yeah. For, so like yeah. racing. Uh, we just in Vegas in May. Yeah. I went. Some of our friends came out to watch. Yeah, it was fun. It was super fun. Yeah, it's Kind of like race. watching football game, right? Uh, yeah. Like cheering on your, yeah, yeah. your one-man team. Yeah, exactly. Let's go ahead. Yeah. Watching me run in circles, but it was good. <laughs> you did well. You did well. Oh, you're sweating, huh? Ooh, I'm sweating, guys. We are almost 20 minutes in. I'm oh, wow. super proud of you. Super proud of you. Just check that form, yeah? Soft shoulders, pops in, keep that chest up. And remember to lay on soft. You know, don't pound down on the floor when you're landing. Yeah, yeah. What's That's your... going to lessen the impact. If you guys are wearing a heart rate monitor, what do your heart rate at? Yeah, drop us your heart rate in the comments. Yeah. I am at 141, 145, just kind of popping around. Yeah, my drop. Popping around. Going to get back to the steps. Woo! You're doing good, guys. You're almost two miles in. Almost. So keep working for it. That's going to be two thirds. We're working on two thirds of this workout. You ran that second mile fast. Well, I did almost. Oh. Yes. This is called motivational speaking. <laughs> well, it's we gotta almost. Get, we gotta get us there, right? <laughs> almost is subjective. <laughs> We've all been in those workout classes. They're like 10 more and you're like 30 later. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I was pulling that right there a little. Uh-oh. But he called me out. Thanks, Wes. <laughs> <laughs>
about to hit 20 minutes. We are about to hit 20 minutes. 15 seconds to go. 20 minutes in. It's gone. He's coming back. You want some water? No, no he's good. Okay. We're moving and cruising. Woo! That's why I wore the headband. Okay. He's like, I don't know. I don't think it looks very cool, but. Hey, it's about no suntan look in the eye. Hey, that's true. I might keep wiping, so I don't think it hurts. Oh, yeah, suntan looks in the eyes. Once that starts, it's like a hard get back. Whew. I feel like the front of me is going to be really tan. The back is going to be more tough. Just checking out what you guys get to look out for. Yesterday, like every hour, it'd be like this sunny, and it just started raining. Yeah, for like pouring. pouring. It could be like two minutes, ten minutes, and then. It'd be sunny again. It was just amazing. The epitome of sun showers. You guys, you guys, 21 and a half minutes. We are rocking. We are rocking. How is that speed? How is that speed knowing you are at least halfway through this run? Can you pick up the pace a little? Do you need to adjust the pace a little? Slowing down is not a bad thing, but that means you're going to get to the finish line, yeah? You check in with yourself right here. How are you feeling? Okay? Be honest, if it's, like I said, mentally, sometimes it's harder than physically. You go, huh, my body's actually feeling pretty good. I think I can keep moving. So then try to keep the pace, right? Sometimes physically can be a lot more tiring. Some days, mentally, it's like, whoa. together, right? You're keeping us fit and accountable just as much as we're keeping you fit and accountable. Seriously. Because we're on vacation. We can totally kick our feet up and not do anything. But we all know what's number one. Consistency. Yeah. Consistency is everything. If that means the only energy you have one day is to do 10 minutes of walking or yoga, great. It's all about building a consistent routine. That's great. So some days you're going to feel like superwoman or man. Some days you're not. So I, I just ask you to listen to yourself. Find movement that works for you that day. And rock it. I guarantee you on the tired days you'll have more energy and feel a little bit better. Yeah. Guarantee. 100%. 100%. 100%. How are we doing? We are over halfway and rocking through this workout. Steps on steps on steps. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try to run a little bit faster and see if we can finish this second half a little quicker. Since I'm the one wearing the steps and only it's accountable for how many we do. <laughs> so that means I gotta I gotta move. <laughs> a thousand times and not hit it. What am I going to do with you? Exercise does not increase your patience, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a speed view for a minute. You guys keep running.
So you can probably see them in the left frame. Upgrade over here. Pretty awesome. Okay, I like it. 25. How are you guys doing? We're in it now. Feels good. 25 minutes into the run. It's uh, really motoring now. doing how we doing oh man looking good Wes pick those feet up keep rocking it out babe okay flying back in Solid. Yeah, in seven, six, you're going to give yourself a pat on the back and you're going to keep 
running. In four, three, two, one. Let's go. That was 30 minutes of running. 30 minutes. Maybe that's the first time you ever did that. Yes. That's awesome. Congratulations. Maybe it wasn't. Still super proud of your accomplishment for the day.
five, guess what? We've got three minutes left. I want some speed. I want some arms. If you need a modified, show them the modification, babe. We're right here. Right here, you're gonna make it to the end with us. I don't care what you need to do to get there. Let's just move. Breathe in, breathe out. We're smiling because we've done so much. And because we've got the chemicals pumping through our brain yeah. now. You just worked an hour to make those chemicals. Enjoy it. Woo woo. Where are we at? Two thirty left. Let's move, guys. You know how I said I like to break it down? Usually near the end, I start counting like seconds. Uh -huh. So at two thirty, I've been like, okay, we got a hundred and fifty seconds. You know what? For the rest of the day, if you're gonna only work out for hundred and fifty more seconds, you can do it. That's it. That's all you got left. Let's go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hey guys. Two minutes on the clock. We're doing it. We are doing it. I'm going to have to stand the opposite way later <laughs> so I get my other arm in my back. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to have a, a whole tan line down this side of the body. <laughs> At least this is my driver's arm. For That's your I always notice I get tanner there. So remember, we're not, we're not carrying you. Yeah? So this is my left. Our 